Suck ass motherfuckers, man. Yo. <laughs> Yo, I piss a lot of people off, bro. I piss a lot of fucking fake ass motherfuckers off. Bro, I don't even know these people. And motherfuckers seem to have a problem with me living my life, doing what I do, you know, documenting my life, you know, talking a bunch of real shit that pisses a lot of fake motherfuckers off. And I'm not going to stop, bro. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? I'm not going to stop being me. These people wish. Like, what's your end goal by telling me to kill myself, saying I'm a bitch, saying I'm this and I'm that? And I'm, you know what I mean? I don't never seen no proof of any of these fucking statements y'all fucking faggots are making. You know what I'm saying? So, I'm still good. <laughs> Where the fuck are you guys at, man? Sitting in your fucking tree fort, you know, chirping off like a bunch of fucking birds on a, you know, on a little fucking, um, rock in the middle of the ocean (laughs) oh man these guys man they think that they're doing some type of damage to me or like they're trying to ruin my reputation or credibility or some shit bitch my shit was already established long before I even made this fucking YouTube channel you know what I mean I already proved myself in the street I already did my time in jail I already fucking earned my stripes I already had to do what the fuck I had to do to keep people off me and show people that they can't fuck with me period you know what I'm saying I'm never gonna be that guy and that's what really makes people mad is they fucking try so hard to suppress me and make me feel depressed and like make me want to kill myself and call me a snitch a fucking goof a this a that and this and this and that like it's fucking crazy like you motherfuckers really need to get paid for this shit bro because (laughs) y'all putting in a lot of effort man (laughs) y'all motherfuckers be putting in a lot of effort trying to fuck my name up bro and you're like in the end bro like you know like i'm certified bro like i already did my shits bro i made it in and out what the fuck are you guys talking about like y'all live in a fucking bush like what type of real life did y'all ever live where what gives you the fucking audacity to to act and talk the way you do when you leave the you know the gangster shit for the actual like gangsters you know what i mean like Everybody thinks that they have something to fucking prove, you know? Everybody wants to prove something. You know what I mean? I don't know what the fuck. I just sit here in in amazement. Like, wow. Y'all motherfuckers really need to get paid soon. Because (laughs) if I were you, I'd be fucking pissed. Because look, I'm still here smiling, laughing in your fucking face. Still talking a lot of real shit. I'm still outside, like... Ain't nobody gonna run up on me Ain't nobody gonna do shit Any city that I'm at I've been all over fucking Canada A lot of people talk a lot of shit I've run into people that said they were gonna do some things to me Until they see me in real life And realize that that's really not gonna work The way you fucking thought it was You know what I mean And it's just not You know what I'm saying I already learned You know what I'm saying I've already made who I am You know what I mean? By my struggles. I've already had to face my fears. I've already had to fucking war with people in the street. I've already had to fight people one-on-one. I've already had to take my lumps and get jumped and fucking chased down when I was a youth in the street until I got mad and started stabbing people. And then more beef happened and then more big boys got involved and now everybody wants to fucking kill me because I won't give up. I won't give in and I won't give up and I won't allow y'all to fucking degrade me and tell me I'm a fucking bitch and, and, and try to dominate me and make me feel like I'm less than I am. You're never going to do it. It's never going to happen. And the universe is on my side if you haven't fucking noticed. You can't (laughs) destroy somebody for no reason. It's not going to work. You know what I mean? You can't make false claims and fucking spread politics on somebody's name, saying they're this and this and that, when there's no proof and no evidence of that. It don't matter if the motherfuckers that are saying it are the fucking most fucking credible fucking sources there is out there. They've been misinformed. You know what I'm saying? That's what makes it look real is that you get these little bitch motherfuckers like down here that go up to these big guys and say, yo, this guy is this and this and that. And these big guys that don't know who I am are like, oh, really? Okay, well, we'll fucking make sure everybody knows about that. Then the word goes out. Then you got a bunch of fucking people that want to fucking stomp, smash your fucking teeth out. (laughs) You know, because... you steady just keep winning on motherfuckers and they just for some reason can't get their grips on you you know what i mean and and they don't fucking wonder they don't understand how right um and yeah right and then motherfuckers be looking like damn this guy's saying that's sincere you know mr brazilian over there 
is a fucking this and he's a that and he's a that. Well, he must be that if this... I respect this big guy. I know this guy is credible. He's a credible source. I know this is... He's a, he's a big dude. So if he's saying that, it must be fucking true. Well, guess what? Those big guys, how the fuck did they find out about the shit in the first place? From a little fucking goof down here that fucking likes to spread politics and wanted to done my name off and wanted to fuck my life up and get hitters after me and get some serious dudes on my ass because I'm spreading like wildfire. I'm making it and they're not. The only way that they can stop me is fucking my reputation up by spreading politics and lies about my name. That's the only way you could ever do anything to me and it still doesn't do shit because real recognize real I'm gonna show up in the flesh these motherfuckers are gonna come talk to me and be like yo I heard about this and this and that the fuck's good I'm like look at me in my fucking face and tell me you think that bro and if you really do let me show you something right now you know what I mean like in the end of the day I'm always willing to fight for who I am and what I what I know to be true you know and I'm always gonna defend myself against these fucking fucking losers that want to try and ruin my name and spread politics about me and, and just make false shit like this guy's a goof, he's a snitch, he's a fucking pedophile, he's a rapist, he's a, like, come on, bro, you think, like, you know what I mean? <laughs> in, in reality, bro, like, get real, eh? You know what I'm saying? And I'm never gonna let these people try to tell me that this shit is real, like, you know what I mean? I'm never gonna let people fucking put me down like that, bro. In the end of the day, I don't hear that shit. I don't hear you, bro. Like, that shit don't affect me, bro. You know what I'm saying? Even the other people that fucking think they're gonna do something don't do shit in the end of the day, bro. A lot of people talk a lot of shit. I got a lot of fucking enemies because I say a lot of real shit and I piss a lot of fucking fake people off and I'm gonna keep doing it, bro. The more you guys keep trying to press me, the more I'm gonna fucking press back and I'm never gonna get done in, bro. Suck my fucking dick, bitch. That's how real it really is. I'm saying, look, while you guys are sitting there fucking talking shit about me and my fucking, and my comments and about my music and politicking about me and your little bitch ass on your, in your fucking little tree fort on your little island and in your little cities and shit and you know what I mean? When I'd have never met none of y'all, y'all never met me and somehow you fucking think you know who I am and you know so much about me. <laughs> you guys are so fucking small to me, bro. You guys are fucking nothing to me, man. You know what I'm saying? In the end of the day, I've heard since I was 15 years old, I'm gonna get my legs broken, my teeth fucking smashed out, I'm fucking dead, I'm gonna get shot, I'm gonna get this and this and that. You know what I mean? You're fucking done, buds. You're done. They get the fuck out of here, buds. I'm 26 years old and I'm still going, bro. And I'm still talking my shit. Suck my fucking dick. And I'm not talking no fucking bullshit to provoke things. I'm just saying real shit, minding my own fucking business, living my own fucking life. And people come out of fucking nowhere and pop up talking mad shit saying I ain't what I say I am. Who the fuck are you in the first place? Where the fuck did you come from? <laughs> I don't know you. Why are you watching me? Fucking don't watch me. Watch TV, you fucking faggot. Fuck is wrong with these people, bro? Like, yo, it's so embarrassing, man. Gunshot. Okay. All right. Well, there we go. Anyways, <laughs> isn't gonna do shit. Ain't nobody gonna do fucking nothing to me, bro. See me in the flesh. You know what I mean? I've been squeezed, I've been caught in the corner and fucking made my way out of that corner, bro. I'll be fucking damned if a fucking man will ever put his fucking hands on me ever fucking again, man. Since I was a kid, nobody's touched me, bro. Nobody's gonna put their fucking hands on me or I'm gonna take their fucking life because this ain't no teenage game no more, bro. This ain't no kid shit. Don't fucking play with my fucking life. Or you're gonna lose yours, bro, and that's the reality of it. And every man should have that in them and say and, and know that. That's the way it really fucking is. If you're a real man, no other man could ever fucking interfere with your life and fuck with your life. Or you should fucking kill them straight up. And I don't believe in these fucking bitch ass laws where the police are trying to take our fucking power away from us and make us have to rely on them. Well, <laughs> You know, like, I can't defend myself. No, if you come try to fuck with my life, you try to put your hands on me, I'm fucking killing you. I'm not playing no fist fighting little bitch ass game with you, bro. You think I can, you, you know how many fucking people want to put their hands on me, bro? <laughs> like, 
the, the, the real the, the reason why I have so many people after me is because I'm so out in the open you know what I mean I make these videos you know I make music I was really out in the fucking street when you're really out there putting in work and fucking doing your thing making music and showing yourself you open yourself up to more fucking haters and more enemies and more critics and that's the way it's always gonna fucking be so if you got a lot of haters that means you're doing a lot of shit right and you're out there you're sticking your fucking neck out on some real shit you know what i'm saying you know while these people are fucking hating on me talking shit in their little fucking fucking dens or wherever the fuck they dwell in their little fucking cabins and in their little cracked out apartments and shit i'm out here you know trying to developing myself <laughs> like i'm out here b- bike riding you know being healthy you know maintaining my health you know maintaining this up here and people still try to discredit me and be like you know try to say i'm fucking mentally unstable and <laughs> you know what i'm saying bro i've heard everything in the book against against me i just i don't know wow what a fucked up reality people say i'm delusional you must be fucking delusional to be sitting there fucking dwelling on somebody that's not yourself. <laughs> like, what are you doing with your life, bro? Like, what are you guys doing? They're so mad. They're so angry. I feel, yeah, this shit is hilarious. But anyways, I don't give a fuck. I'm just doing me and I'm always going to. And it's going to continue to piss people off, bro. And, you know, the thing is, is that, you know, it's said it in the Bible, bro. Jesus talked about it. He said, you will be hated because of my name. Since I was a kid. I got picked on and fucking, you know, picked on and picked on for no fucking cause at all. No reason at all. You know, until I said I've had enough. And then the day that I started standing up for myself and started fucking taking back what's mine and and standing up and speaking out against these motherfuckers and saying, suck my dick, fuck you guys. I'm not letting you suppress me no more. I'm not letting you put fear in me. I'm not letting you fucking try to pick on me and fuck me up. You fucking... I dare motherfucker, bro. I fucking dare somebody, bro. I fucking dare somebody, man. Because I'm not playing no fucking games with you kids, eh? Don't fucking play games with me in my life. Don't play games with it, bro. I take my life very seriously. And I believe my fucking life is more valuable than yours if you're gonna come try to interfere with my shit. I'm gonna fucking take your shit from you, bro. And that's how it goes. Real talk. I'm out here fucking living life, bro, getting fit, you know what I'm saying, just trying to stay healthy, you know, not giving a fuck about these weird ass motherfuckers that think they know everybody with their fucking weird looking ass, stop looking at me, you fucking weirdos, that people just stare and, man, everybody's so weird, bro, what's wrong with people, honestly, it's a, it's lonely being, being, you know, (laughs) it's lonely, because 90% of the population is fucking fake. 90% of people are fucking fake. Any real one will tell you that, bro. The real ones are very, very limited, so it's lonely, bro. And you're the most hated. If you're real, you're the most hated because nobody can relate to you and they think you're fucking fake. So if everybody's against me and everybody wants to fucking punch my my beautiful face, <laughs> everybody wants to put arm on me and fucking kill me and says I'm dead and this and this and that when I'm just sitting here doing fucking whatever I do then it's quite clear that everybody's fucking on some fugazi shit and I'm on the real shit cause the real ones that stick their neck out and say real shit are the most hated and that's how it's always gonna fucking be you know what I'm saying you're a bitch if you disagree with me you're a fake ass bitch go back to your angry little corner and fucking sit there and pol- and fucking criticize everybody like a faggot and instead of getting out there and sticking your neck out and saying some real shit and then you're gonna experience the same shit you're gonna have a bunch of fucking haters too and you're gonna go through the same fucking realities as I do and then you're gonna realize wow everybody's on some fake ass shit I really thought these motherfuckers was named Brent <laughs> wow And you know what? The thing is, it's all about competition, too. There's a lot of real dudes that that say I'm fake. There's there's, there's certified motherfuckers that say I'm fake and that say I'm a fucking this and this and that. And you know what that's about? They feel threatened. That's what it is. They feel fucking threatened because they know if I get up, I get my money up and I get on my power trip, they're going to feel the heat, too. 
know what I'm saying? And I'm going to be in their fucking area and they're not going to like that either. Because they want to be number one and they want to fucking be the most respected. And they want to be the ones that look cool and shit. They, they don't want no competition. And if they fucking see any of it, then they're going to immediately try to discredit it and fucking throw dirt on it. So that way nobody looks at them. It's a marketing strategy, bro. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I piss a lot of fucking fake ass bitch ass motherfuckers off. And I'm still good, bro. Like, and I'm not gonna, and I'm still gonna go wherever the fuck I want, bro. City to city. You know what I mean? Like, I can't go back to my city. The only reason why I feel like I shouldn't go back to my city is because that jail is sitting there waiting for me, bro. And I got a thousand fucking haters out there that want to fucking put their hands on me, bro. Because my name's out there, bro. Because I fucking put myself out there making music, you know what I mean? Making moves, doing my thing, making connections. And the more connections you make and the more you stick your neck out, more people are going to hate on you, bro. That's just how it fucking is. You know what I'm saying? And the reality is, what am I supposed to do? Fight a thousand fucking people? (laughs) So I'm a bitch because... I can't fight every single fucking person that wants to fuck me up. Just like, bro, there's going to be a million people in your life that are going to want to fuck you up. Does that mean that you're a bitch if you don't fight all of them? What? What the fuck are these guys talking about? Trying to say, like, I can't go back to my city and I'm a fucking, I'm a bitch and this and this and that, bro. You know what I mean? It just, it's, (laughs) what do you want me to do? Fight a thousand people? You don't have a thousand people that want to fuck your ass up because you want to know why? Because you're nobody. (laughs) Like, nobody cares about you. Nobody knows your name. You weren't out there in the field pissing people off doing real shit. Doing whatever the fuck you want to do, bro. I was out there doing whatever the fuck I want to do. And when you do that, that pisses people off. You know what I'm saying? They don't like that. They want you to stay scared. They want you to be in the little ball in the corner. They don't want you to make money. They don't want you to fuck bitches. They want you to perish. They want you to fucking die off somewhere and fucking get out of the way. They want to move you out of the way. <laughs> Just like Drake said, he was like, I always take the money over sex. That's what, what do you think? That's why they need me out the way. You know what I mean? And that's the thing. They can't get me. You know what I mean? People just can't get me in no way. They try to slander me. They try to spread politics. Try to throw dirt on my fucking name. That's been my whole life. You know what I'm saying? And I just keep smiling, bro. Keep shining. And that makes them even more mad, bro. You know what I'm saying? It's crazy, bro. It's lonely at the top. It's lonely being the realest motherfucker, bro. It really is. It really is, man. It is. And it sucks. It's hard. It's hard being real, bro. It's hard saying the truth. It's hard fucking saying the real shit that nobody wants to say and fucking touching people's feelings, bro. Other people would just, would rather avoid it. You know what I'm saying? They would rather fucking avoid it. Me, no, no. I'm not gonna be a coward and fucking keep my mouth shut for nobody and no, no fucking nothing. You know what I'm saying? I'm always gonna say how it is, bro. And that's how it should always be, period. You know what I'm saying? Bunch of bitch ass motherfuckers, man. It's too much, bro. I'm out here just living life, bro. What are you doing? <laughs> on the computer? You're on the computer fucking talking shit, right? Okay. Saying what? Alright. Alright. Okay, okay. Enough is enough, kids. Time to shut your fucking beeps. <laughs> but anyways, yeah, you know, it's just a it's just a game. It's just a fucking game. It's just a competition. It's just marketing strategies. You know, that's how it works. This is how it is. But I'm going to continue to be resilient. You know? No weapon formed against me shall prosper in Jesus' name. Amen. Bullets bouncing off me like I'm Neo in the Matrix. <laughs> right? Go look that up. Sincere music. I know why you hate me. <laughs> yeah, I love it. But anyways. You know what? The thing is. You might have a hundred thousand haters if you keep winning and you keep doing you and you keep just fucking smiling in their faces and shining and staying ahead of the game. Eventually, everybody's going to have absolutely no fucking choice but to to admire you. (laughs) You know what I'm saying? They're going to have no choice but to admire you, bro. They're going to have no choice but to respect you. Because in the end of the day, I'm going to get what's mine, bro. You know what I'm saying? Yep. But uh, it's crazy because, like, even, um, what's his bitch-ass name? Attic365. 
fucking fucking snake ass weasel ass fucking faggot sitting in his little tree fort in fucking Union Bay on Vancouver Island fucking beacon off saying I'm a bucket this guy wrote in my comments I'm a bucket bro they come on you mad <laughs> you fucking mad <laughs> man what at, at, at the beginning of Drake's song <laughs> you know that big guy he was like what do he say he's like I might not have nothing but I look good. <laughs> He's like, yeah, that's the good life, motherfucker. I howled so hard, bro. That just reminds me of me, bro. Because, you know, man's trying to flex on me like, yo, you ain't got a whip. You ain't got this. You ain't got that. But guess what, bitch? I look good, motherfucker. <laughs> that's the good life. You know what I'm saying? So that made me laugh, man. I like that shit. God's plan, buddy can't stop it but anyways added 365 little fucking coward little bitch ass sitting in his tree for it going <laughs> tripping like a little bird with his little other little bird friends it sounds like you know when you wake up in the morning and you hear all the birds tripping and shit that's reminds me of the house in union bay of all these fucking birds tripping and shit you know it's really weird to me like because like where i come from you actually have to be like hard to survive like you gotta be a savage you know what I mean or you're gonna end up getting suppressed and stepped on and fucking swept away under the rug you know and that didn't happen to me because I went against everybody and that's why I have so many enemies is cause I say fuck you it ain't gonna fucking scare me I don't give a fuck if all you motherfuckers I don't care if there's a hundred people about to stomp my fucking teeth out I'll be suck a dick goof bam and I'll take all the smashes bro <laughs> and I've done it ask about me <laughs> You know, it happens, you know, but in the end of the day, I'm still breathing, bro. I'm still good. But anyways, Addict 365 is a bitch-ass wannabe rapper, wannabe gangster. I think he came from, what, Brantford or something like that? <laughs> the fuck out of here. <laughs> the fuck is Brantford? Anyways, um, now this guy lives in a little tree fort and fucking on a little tiny island where everybody thinks they're a fucking gangster. You know, I don't, I don't get it. I mean, they live in the most beautiful place in Canada. You know, British Columbia. I came from the fucking straight gutter slums of Canada. You know what I mean? Like, I was out there, you know, moving fucking packs to eat and put clothes on my fucking back since I was 14. These kids, these faggots don't know about that life. They had parents that had cars and driving them around and helping them. And these guys are fucking losers anyways. But, um, yeah, so this guy says I'm a bucket. I'm like, what? This guy writes a comment in my shit, says I'm a bucket. Bro, when I was living there... At this guy's house, all these fucking guys did was snort coke and pop pills like fucking junkies. You should have seen them all fucking bugged out, looking like a bunch of fucking losers, thinking they're all a bunch of fucking gangsters. Bro, it was so corny for me to live there. It made me feel so uncomfortable to be around all these fake fucking faggots that all they do is like talk shit behind each other's backs and then smile in each other's faces. After I don't, where I come from, bro, when you have a beef with somebody, it stays like that forever. There is no fucking making friends. There's no hanging out after that. There's no fighting and then fucking... Sh fuck that. Enemy is a fucking enemy, bro. And they're always going to be an enemy because they're always going to be a fucking snake. You understand that? Don't ever let your guard down, bro. Anyways, these guys are corny as fuck. They all really want to be real hard and fucking gangsters and shit like that, you know. And they only pick on people smaller than them and they, it makes them feel powerful. You know what I'm saying? And they grew up on a fucking island. And... In the most beautiful place in Canada. Like, whoa. It's hard out here, bro. It's gangster out here, man. Ugh. Ooh. Fuck yeah, man. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Fuck that. I've been out here for five years. Not a fucking single person came to my face, bro. And I heard a lot of bunch of people talking shit. Even when I was out east. Ain't nobody said shit. I was in Kitchener. I was an hour away from Hamilton. Anybody could have whipped out and come and got me, bro. People came, tried. You know what I'm saying? But failed. Like usual. God's plan, buddy. You know what I mean? And it's just so fucking corny. I haven't spoken on it yet. You know what I mean? Like, I haven't even... These guys have been talking shit for, like, a year and a half, and I haven't even responded. They even made a diss track to me, and I didn't even respond yet. <laughs> like, bro, these guys are not ready for what is gonna happen when I'm fucking ready to come back. Right now, I'm out here enjoying my life. That's what I'm doing. Everywhere I go, everything I do... I'm having fun. I'm living life. I'm traveling BC, backpacking, tenting, fucking bitches on the beach. I'm getting it in. I'm doing my thing. And it's crazy how motherfuckers just want to try to strangle me out of my life. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> why are you mad? Like, 
I can't figure it out, but motherfuckers really exhaust a lot of energy trying to fucking fuck my shit up, but nothing ever happens, so. But anyways, these guys are really, really corny. And it's just the most fakest fucking thing you could ever, like, witness. It's so fugazi. It makes me fucking gag sometimes, like. It literally makes me feel sick. Because it's so uncomfortable to be around fake people when you're a real one and they didn't like that and that's what really pissed people off eh? it's because I, I'm not gonna hold back if you do something fucking fake I don't care if you're my best friend I'm gonna be like bro I was fucking whack like are you stupid like get your shit together bro like, you guys are fucking weak why would you say that why would you do that you know what I mean like you guys are corny and I said it right to all of them I said you guys are fucking losers bro you guys are corny all they could do is get mad and wanna fucking wanna fucking jump me <laughs> And they couldn't do shit. You know what I mean? Motherfucker sucker punched me once when I was fucking drunk. You know what I mean? Next, every time we got into a fight, I was the one that fucking was the one to be like, yo, let's, let's fucking bang right now, puss hole. You know what I mean? And fucking man got me. You know what I mean? I fell, my arm fucking popped out. I got a broken arm. This guy can only get me when I'm fucking drunk. And when my arm pops out, the motherfucking still did no damage to me. Like, ha! I had like not even a lump on my head, bro. Like, what the fuck? Anyways, it don't matter, you know, and you and, and that made them that made him feel powerful, you know what I mean? Because he sucker punched me when I was drunk on my fucking head. He's supposed to be my cousin, this Mr. Addict 365. So what a real fucking piece of shit, you know what I mean? To betray me, and then he goes around trying to say spread po- bro. These people are a hundred percent fake. Addict 365, nasty North boys is what they go by. It's completely corny. Like, it's embarrassing. I had to get the fuck away from them because they're ruining the way I've established myself already. And I made these faggots, bro. You wouldn't even have the music they have and the talent they fucking have. It wasn't for me pressing them, making them have to be better because they're around a motherfucker that's really got talent. But uh, besides that, you know what I'm saying? This guy says I'm a buckty. Says I'm a bucket. I don't do drugs. <laughs> Like, zero at all. Never been a fucking drug head. These guys have always been drug addicts. His fucking name is Addict365, bro. This guy's a fucking loser, bro. Oh, my gosh. Chris, you're a faggot, man. You are so corny. You should just fucking drown yourself, you fucking loser. Oh, my God. Actually, don't do that, man, because I I like Trey. He's, He's cool. He'd probably be better off, actually. Yeah, go ahead, kill your fucking self. He'll be better off somewhere else. Anyways, um, this guy's, these guys are all fucking losers. I'm not even going to start really getting at them yet. Right now, this is this is just me talking about it. Wait until I fucking get in my zone and when I... Don't worry, I got things coming, bro. Don't worry. Yeah, you know I'm saying? Just keep, just, just keep talking, bro. Just keep doing your thing, you know? <laughs> They're probably confused. They're like, oh, whoa, how come nothing happened yet? You know, so they think they won. They're all like, yeah, hooray, they're having a big party. They're like, oh, yeah, we got him. We fucking got him. What a fucking this and that. And they don't even realize, bro, this is the quiet before the storm, homie. And I always do that, bro. It's called this fucking art of war, bro. You should read the book. It might help you with your fucking strategic fucking attacks that you guys try to fucking put on me that has no effect. You guys need some fucking help with your strategies. (laughs) Go fucking pick the book up. But, yo, anyways, this guy says I'm a bucket. And the whole time I lived there, these guys are coked out, pilled up, fucking dummied out. I'm sitting there sober the whole time, fucking just, you know, doing my thing, drinking, smoking my weed. Looking at these guys like, wow, these guys are losers. Like, trying to get me to do drugs, bro. When I was a kid, I already did all the drugs. I did the coke, the E. But I was smart. I seen a better way to go. I was like, let me sell the drugs. I was like, those are the consumers. I can be the drug dealer. Those are the losers. I can have the money. Fucking win-win to me. So I was like, all right. And that's what I did all my life. I've never been a consumer, never been a drug addict. Addict365 is this motherfucker's name. He used to, He told me at my age, right now, 26 years old, he was smoking crack. He was fucking cracked out without a job. Like, nothing. You know what I'm saying? He straightened up because he had a kid. Good on him. You know, he did his thing. But in the end of the day, who are you? To try to tell me I'm a bucket and put me down. These like this is just an example I'm using of one person out of fucking thousands that like to fucking say whatever they like to say about me. But 
Oh man, you you, know, you guys better be ready because I'm gonna really piss y'all motherfuckers off. It's it's coming. It's 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 gonna get bad for you guys. Really, really fucking bad. You know what I'm saying? You guys won't really have any more ego or confidence no more because you know you're gonna get exposed on a real tip. You know what I mean? And I'm gonna have fucking facts and proof and you know what I mean? Real talks. You know, real recognized. Real. You guys could never be like that. You're not born like that you weren't bred like that you ain't raised like that you ain't made like that you ain't built like that always been like that so that's what pisses them off man you get one real motherfucker in a house full of fake fucking losers what do you think's gonna happen they're all gonna switch on you and turn on you and that's what they did that's what happens every fucking time and i'm the one still standing in the end bro like i'm good y'all wish that i'd fucking fall off some you know what i mean i'm just doing my thing right now <laughs> and i'm doing fine you know what I'm saying? And fuck the RCMP. Bumble clap, bitch. Fuck you guys, man. Fucking watching my shit, man. Don't look at me. Fuck out of here, man. Anyways. These guys think they fucking intimidate me, too. Nobody. These fucking fucking people can't use their scare tactics on me, man. Nobody. Fucking blood tat. Suck a dick, bitch. <laughs> fuck. Fuck out of here, man. Anyways, point blank period, man. You already know who the real one is. I haven't even got flexy yet. I'm just getting a little bit lippy right now, but it's coming though. The flex is coming, and it's coming hard. But <clears throat> in the end of the day, you know, actions speak louder than words. You know, I'm out here living a, a healthy lifestyle. This fag is sitting there eating McDonald's, snorting coke, popping fucking prescription pills while he's looking after his fucking five, six, seven-year-old kid. I don't even know now. Fuck, it's been a fucking year. <laughs> Anyways. And he tries to call me a bucket. See, that's the thing. You guys are fucking yourselves up. The more you talk and the more bullshit you guys try to spread out there and the more hype.